Please watch the full video and I promise that you will never forget how to define XML fragment in XML views. This was an interview question asked me back 2020. What are the ways to define fragment in XML and what are the uses of XML? Why do we use XML fragments in SAP AFI? Now I think you have understood how we are proceeding. We have a label control, we have ID property, text property, class property. Same way we have one edge box, we have ID assigned to it. We have two controls inside edge box, label and text, account holder name and the proper name value, account holder name, name value. This is one edge box. This is another edge box. This is third edge box. This whole thing is inside one V box. That's where it is coming. One, two, three, four, vertically it is aligned. Now we would, we would proceed further. I will show you what is fragment. If you will just write what is fragment in SAP UFI, there could be multiple answers. Just for a common definition, fragment supports the definition of lightweight standalone UI controlled trees. You can say basically that fragments are lightweight UI components, which doesn't have their own controller file they rely on the same controller where they are being declared this is what fragment is more uh, easy definition on click of a button we call a fragment the fragment can hold an ui control in our case we place a dialog box inside a frag fragment yes we can place a dialog box inside a fragment so frag fragment could be declared in controller fragments could be declared in xml both the, and you should know both the ways how do we declare the fragment in xml how do we declare the fragment in controller in controller we can open the fragment on click of something in xml when we declare fragment it will automatically load it let me show you how it works this is my bank detail application i go to the view and uh, whenever you declare any fragment you click you create one fragment folder this is the standard way of developing the software developing the sap application and you create one fragment folder with name as fragments once you create the folder now you need to create one file inside it the fragment file so fragment folder is created i will right click on this i will go and i will select new file we are not generating this using uh, the command line because it would be little difficult for you then if we do everything from command line we will surely generate the files using command line as well now i give it a name to this fragment which i want to show so i just give it a name as bank details naming naming convention also you take care because when we write any app any view we give the capital letter for the view name similar way when we write any fragment we give the uh, naming convention as capital and small how we are declaring the javascript variables some something in that way but the first letter should be capital bank details dot you have to put one extension called fragment bank details dot fragment dot xml this is a file name that we are this is a file that we are creating now our application our file would be available inside this fragments folder there is a new file that is created which is called bank details dot fragment dot xml now our fragment file is created which is bank details dot fragment dot xml but if you will notice it is giving us an error it is because the fragment is not defined in our controller it is not defined in uh, in our view and the fragment definition is also not provided so fragment definition is a sap ui core control which is useful to define any ui that we are designing or any control that we are assigning in any view so it is a definition to identification of a fragment let me give you an uh, let me show you how it is defined whenever you create any fragment any fragment you just you just get this uh, information core because the fragment definition we need to give fragment fragment definition this is the control now same way how we were creating the content and other control content and other control in the same way it will it also has open and closing tag fragment definition and close it whatever ui that you are going to design you need to design inside these two core fragment definition still it is giving error because whenever you create any fragment you need to define how we are 
how we have the predefined uh, libraries like like XML NS SAP UI code MVC XML NS SAP dot M. In the similar way, in def in the fragment definition also, we need to define what libraries we require. And there are two libraries which which are highly important. Every time you create a fragment, first define them. XML NS XML NS code is equal to SAP dot UI dot code. This is a very important library. Apart from it, XML NS to SAP dot M. These two libraries are very important. Once you define it, see there is no error, nothing. It is runtime. It is uh, checking each and everything. So once you define the fragment definition, now our fragment is almost ready. We have to load this fragment at some place. Let me show you how. If I mention text, just for your example, text, and I can say, this is my fragment. Just the normal text I'm keeping it. ID I am giving txt12. Anything ID you can give anything. Field of I am giving ID. No, no, anything you can give here because this is we are not creating for uh, the development. This is just to display you how fragment looks. Later we will add add the right code here. Right? This is the text. If you will see that our, our application is running fine. Our code is there. Everything is. There. So where is the fragment? Fragment is the part of the code, but it is not part of the runtime UI. And to do that, we have to add this fragment. We have to add this fragment. I told you there are two ways. One, you can load the fragment inside the controller. You can load the fragment inside the view. This is the place where you will load the controller inside page. You have the VBox. Just after the content, we can, we can load this uh, fragment. And to, to load the fragment, there is a separate code. There is a there is a uh, separate way. How we have the core fragment definition in the similar way. We have one more control called core fragment. This is the control. And uh, you can actually close this without uh, an issue. This is the control. First, you define one ID because ID is important. You can say fragment. Which fragment? bank details fragment or any anything is fine let me just close it because otherwise it will keep coming keep uh, distracting us id is defined now i will define the second property and the second property is fragment name now you need to provide the fragment name here and how you would identify what is the fragment name you go to your manifest file your manifest.json which is already open but still you go to manifest.json file because i can so i can show you what what does this id mean when you see in manifest on the top we have something called details. this is our id application id copy this why this id what, what is the mean of this id that namespace plus application name so the code execution comes till this web app folder if you write it down somewhere that means we, you are as a path you are in the web app folder right so go there in the fragment wherever we are giving the fragment name we are giving the fragment name what is the name of a fragment so till here we have come my bank details web app folder we are. now from web app folder where is our fragment our fragment is into view view folder so what i will do just after this i will put dot and i will write it now after view where is our fragment our fragment is if i can make it a little more big our fragment is inside the fragments folder so after view i will put frag yes, fragment this is a folder name then we have to give the fragment name which is bank details inside the fragment so i give bank details this is done now let me make it smaller so we can see the code uh, nicely if i just double click it will be it will look more better now you might be thinking why i didn't do it earlier but anyway let's move this is our fragment name now there is a most important property in fragment is type and type should be capital axiom this is the definition of fragment this is the declaration of fragment in the ui generally whenever you appear for any interview the interviewer asks you this kind of question they say what is the property name 
where we are loading the fragment in XML. So you say, sir, the control name is called fragment and the property name is fragment name. That's where we are uh, giving the path of our fragment file without any extension. And uh, the type we provide the property type XML. That's how we are loading the fragment inside. But the problem is, I tell you what's the problem here. It's still there is a problem. Problem is, now my bank detail application itself is not getting loaded. You see, there is some error. There is some error. The component uh, is not getting loaded. You see, whenever you encounter these kind of errors, always remember, either the configuration mismatch, but here configuration mismatch can't happen because this is not the actual Fury Launchpad. This is just the sandbox. It means there is a mismatch of library whenever you see this kind of error the component for navigation intent it's not the problem of the navigation intent it's not it's the problem of a library which is not getting loaded right so i have used the fragment definition here but if you will notice on the top we haven't assigned the library may be possible but if i can see one library is getting is not there which we defined here xml code this library is not here and as i told you that sap.m and this core library these are the two important library sap.ui.core it should be there all the time now i think the fragment should work fine because we are using core here right for this fragment uh, declaration and if we are not putting the correct library on the top, it will definitely give, give, give an error to us. And these errors I'm showing you, so while development, if you face these kind of errors, this, this video might be getting a little longer. It might be a long video for you, but I promise you that if you focus on all the errors, you will find the right solution. And next time when you see any error, you will directly hit to the problem that this is a problem, right? But I think again, there is there is some problem because the application is, is still now it is getting loaded. This is my fragment where I declared it. I declared it here in the XML file in our app view.xml, right? And I declared it just above our VBOX, our uh, HBOX, whatever we created. So my this is my fragment. Where is this text? This text is inside this which is getting loaded perfectly but since i have a fragment why can't i put this thing in a fragment so you will say that what will happen if i do that assume if if i just copy paste this view this v box and everything whatever i created if i just cut it from here right and i say that uh, let's let's put let's just remove this uh, fragment text whatever was there and let's just copy paste our code here our v box eventually what will happen if i do that first will it run yes it will run it will load the same ui that was getting loaded previously and it will it will work fine it should work fine ideally let's see yeah it is getting loaded but what happened here our application code is more cleaner now because in our app view there is only one fragment definition i have i have put the fragment declaration Right. Earlier, there was lots of code. There was lots of code like this. That too in my root view. Now it is not there. This is the first use case of fragment. In the interviewer, the interviewer asked, why do we declare the fragment in XML? We declare the fragment in XML because of code readability to optimize our code. So whatever the code is there in bank details, now I don't have to write it here in my actual root view, but still the code is visible. I mean the whatever the code is generating that is visible as it is earlier also we were loading the same ui right now also we are loading the same ui the only difference is this ui is not the part of root view it is the part of this fragment and the fragment we are loading it here as a core fragment this is this was good now let's understand the another declaration of fragment another declaration how what is the other way of using it this is the one way whatever assume you have 500 lines of uh, not 500 actually you can say the 50 lines of code where you design something very nicely table and something and then you say that i want to load it in a fragment right so anytime any issue comes or anything happen you don't have to come to your root view because there could be three four five six seven eight fragments right 
you just you will see which fragment it is you will directly open your fragment you'll directly open the file and you will start the start looking at it and if you have to make any changes so it is more standard and uh, easy way to do it and uh, for code optimization in xml uh, more readable code if you want we will utilize fragment now there's another use case of fragment sometimes we load the fragment in the form of dialogue in the form of dialogue how do we do that what if i load the same data same thing in a in a dialog box here on click of some button let's see it how we can do it this is another way where we are loading the fragment in controller so i close this bank detail fragment here i close my manifest.json file also and uh, to some extent we would require the app because this is where we are going to write our code let me create a button here because i want to load the fragment on the click of a button i need to give a id to this button button id you can say a button id you can say open fragment or open bank details this is the button id i can mention now what i will do there's one property of button now there's another property of button which is called type there could be different types right now i'm using emphasize this is a, one of the type of button once we will load the button on ui you will see what is emphasized to me and i can write one text text is also again one property what i want to display on the button i want to say find more details find more details so this is what i want to display on my button and there are other uh, properties as well that we are we will just close this we will add them later there is a property called press event what event we are going to pass so that we can display but for now we are just uh, creating the button with these three and let it open button is coming find more details right similar way i can actually create a 